Hello and welcome to my 3-minute thesis. Do you also use your mobile phone to count the number of steps per day? Maybe you even use your mobile phone to monitor your sleep phases or your smartwatch to monitor your heart rate? Continuously monitoring the current state of health using all types of sensors has become part of our daily life. Researchers have shown that based on these data, it is possible to detect health irregularities or even diseases at an early stage. But did you know that a very revealing daily activity for assessing your state of health is your gait? In fact, many neurological, orthopedic and medical conditions lead to distinct alternations in gait. For example, Parkinson's disease can be detected at an early stage by monitoring changes in gait patterns. Timely detection of these changes enables diagnosis and ensures adequate treatment. For mobile gait analysis, a variety of variable sensors have been proposed, including mobile phones and smartwatches. However, variable sensors have the disadvantage that they can be uncomfortable to wear or can be forgotten. In particular, for the elderly population aged over 65 years, non-variable solutions are generally preferred. That is why, recently, ambient-assisted living technologies are on the rise, with a goal to enable seniors to live safely and independently in their own homes as long as possible. In this context, my PhD research is concerned with demonstrating the yet unexploited potential of radar sensing for medical gait analysis. Now you may ask, why radar for monitoring gait motions? Opposed to other remote sensors such as video cameras, radar is insensitive to lighting conditions and clothing and preserves the privacy of the monitored person. All these aspects are very important for in-home monitoring. But how does it work? Let me show you an example of a radar measurement where a person was walking toward the radar system. The figure shows the Doppler frequency versus time representation. Due to micro motions such as swinging arms and legs, so-called micro Doppler signatures occur around the main Doppler shift of the torso. In this example, the person had a diagnosed gait disorder, which caused an asymmetry in the gait. From the radar micro Doppler signatures, we can see that every second step signature has a lower maximal Doppler shift. This indicates that the left and right leg motions are different, which makes it an asymmetric gait. In my PhD research, I developed signal processing and machine learning algorithms to automatically detect gait abnormalities based on radar measurements. I hope that with my work, I can contribute to paving the way for radar-based mobile gait analysis systems for detecting gait abnormalities as early as possible to ensure prompt treatment. Thank you for watching.